So it's been a while since I've done one of these. Thank you for your patience. I wanted to give you guys an update as to what's happening with my agency, what's been happening with my business, and then why I've been away. So for those of you who don't know, my name is Gavin. I run an email and SMS marketing agency. And this is just going to be an update as to what's been happening with my business. So I think last time we checked off, I was close to doing about 20K a month in revenue. Recently, I've had a 31K month and I've had a $29,000 a month in revenue, which is awesome. But I'm not happy, which is interesting because what's happened with my business is that your benchmarks for what makes you happy and what you define as success, they just keep moving ahead and ahead and ahead. And I knew this when I started as well. Like I remember when I first signed my first client, I was chuffed. I was over the moon. And now when I sign another client, I'm like, I don't really care so much. So I think this is just a really important lesson to actually celebrate the wins, which is something I've been very good at doing. Um, and understand that like the happiness doesn't really come from like these, 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 these constant achievements of goals. It's like actually a state of being. So when I say I'm not happy, I mean to say that like, I'm not necessarily happiness isn't really coming from like getting an extra client or, or pushing across another benchmark. There's like glory in it, but it's not like happiness. Just an important note. Now, things that have been happening with my business, I'm going to start off with things that I've been struggling with. The biggest thing I'm struggling with at the moment is deal flow. I'm struggling to get consistent leads into my business. Now, what am I doing to get those leads? A few things. I've been doing a lot of LinkedIn posting, which I'll be fully honest, hasn't been as successful as I'd like it to be. I post every day and I've done that for the last year and a half. I've gone from zero connections to now 2000 followers and 1700 connections. And I have also focused on building my Twitter. Now, Twitter has actually been working really well for me. I have a thousand followers. I started this year. I post consistently and the things that have driven my Twitter growth the most have been free giveaways. So I've been giving away free Figma files with designs in them that I literally just scrape from the internet. I give them away on Twitter. They get quite a bit of interest. People comment on it. It increases the reach of the post and then I get more followers that way. My goal is to get 10,000 followers by the end of the year because I've seen that with those followers, I'm able to sell a digital product. Now, I have created a low ticket digital product that I sell online that's for $7. I've sold quite a few of them, I think about 30 of them, through Twitter and through LinkedIn. And what I then do is anybody who buys that digital product, I sell the implementation of that product. Now, I haven't had any success yet with the lead strategy itself. I have had success with giving away those boards for free and then selling people on the implementation of those boards. I've done it once um, and that's or twice, I think, and that's worked pretty well. Highly recommend you create a digital product. I've also focused on Fiverr. Fiverr, I, you've probably seen my Fiverr strategy before. That continues to work pretty well for me. I think just on Fiverr alone through consultation calls, I've generated about 6K in revenue. And um, the deals that I close outside of Fiverr from those calls, I think we're sitting at about like 30 or 40K. So that's been working really well. I've also focused on Upwork and I've started doing like an Upwork lead generation strategy. If you guys wanna learn about that, just shoot me an email. You have my email down below. Happy to kind of share that strategy with you as well. That's starting to work. I started that last week where we have a bot that auto applies for jobs for us and auto writes a description with the proposal for those jobs and just blasts out a bunch of a bunch of proposals. That's worked out pretty well so far. I think I've generated about $1,200 in revenue from that. Now the software itself cost me a bit of money to set up, but um, worth it. So that's been working pretty well. I'm also doing a bit of travel. I'm traveling to Columbia soon for a trade show. I'm traveling to the States for some trade shows coming up as well. Things are going pretty well with the business, although I am constantly racked with anxiety about money, always, always worrying about money, making sure we have enough money to pay staff, all that good stuff. So that's a constant worry, just making sure we have enough money coming in. 
I've hired a new project manager recently to help me manage some of the stuff that I was doing before. So the structure of my business is we have designers, builders, copywriters. I need somebody to manage all those people to make sure the project gets done. So that's something that I've hired for recently. He's doing pretty good. Um, bit of training required, but it definitely frees me up with a lot more time. We've also got a new website coming. So the new website will be done in about hopefully a month. Um, and then we can start getting some SEO organic traffic in that way. So yeah, a lot of things have been happening. The business has definitely been, been, uh, been moving. Like we've been focusing on it every single day is pretty much all I do nowadays. Um, but I think like the big thing is consistent deal flow. We need consistent leads coming in to the business. And unfortunately I don't have that. And the other thing I'm really struggling with is getting project based pieces of work and moving them onto retainers because project based work is great, but it's infrequent. And every time you complete a project, you need to get a new one in after you're done. And so I'm trying to find ways to, um, to really move my project based clients over to retainers. And so I'm trying to figure out offers for that stuff. And, um, yeah, just focusing on that, which has been a challenge. Uh, but that's my thing actually this week. So once again, to recap, I'm going to start doing these videos a little bit more. What happened was I moved, I moved to Mexico city. That's another update for you, which is why you're seeing me in this beautiful background here. I moved from New Zealand, which is where the company was started. And I've moved over to Mexico city, um, which is one of the amazing things about being able to run your own business like this. You can actually travel a bunch, move wherever you want, run things remotely. And fortunately the time zone isn't a massive issue for me right now. So yeah, updates, businesses, revenue has grown. We've hired some new staff. I've got a new website doing YouTube still for my channel. Um, I've started selling a digital product. I've started getting active on Twitter. I'm going to start doing these videos again. I moved to Mexico city. Uh, I'm single now, which is fucking. And then, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. And then the things I'm having challenges with are really consistent deals and then moving the current clients that we have there on projects over to retainers. Um, so far though, things are good. I'm happy. I'm in a new city. Weather's amazing. People are great and, uh, things are good. So I'll be doing more videos like this coming up. Uh, keep your eye out and thank you. Thank you for your attention in this attention economy where it is so hard to, to keep people engaged. You've, decided to spend your time watching me, which I appreciate. So thanks for watching and uh, more stuff coming soon.